Good morning, this is Anonymous speaking to you from a farm field on the mysterious property adjacent to the Millville Airport, where much ado about nothing has been made over a legally purchased one for acre parcel of land. The parcel of land was purchased at a public auction held by the city of Millville. It was voted to have the land sale by all matter members of the Millville City Commission including Mr. Mayor Santiago. The property was legally purchased by Mr. Paul Corica, who requested that the small sliver of landlocked property adjacent to his be put up among other city property for sale. No one else bid for that pretty cool property at the land sale. The property is not buildable and of no use to the city. Now that Mr. Porica purchased the property, he pays the taxes to the city on it. False accusations of impropriety have been made in a mudslinging ad campaign paid for by Team Santiago's campaign. Mr. Porica's daughter, Lynn Porica Campari, did not vote on the sale to award the property as she knew it would be a conflict of interest. She did the proper procedure which is called recusing oneself to recuse means to excuse oneself from a case because of a possible conflict of interest or lack of impartiality. Lynn Porica Campari did exactly that. All land sold at the city auction must be checked for liens and other restrictions prior to the sale. The premise in the commercial that the property could have been designated Green Acres land is ludicrous. That designation is for conservation and recreation land, not land cut off by a road through an industrial park. The commercial goes on to say that Mr. Porico would have the advantage with this extremely valuable piece of property to have utilities brought in from the airport next door. Utilities are not up to the city and Mr. Porico has had electric on the farm man many years before he bought it. See it is up there. There are many animals on the farm that produce gas but if Mr. Porico needed more he could have it piped in from Cedarville Road where there is a big pipe running along his farm. Mr. Porico owns and runs his own water department. He turns on a switch when he does not get enough rain to keep his grass green for the animals. Oh look, speaking of animals, there is the South Jersey Sands Call investigative reporting team as we speak. Many thousands of dollars were spent lying about things that Lynn Porica Campari did. What a bunch of horses pot who tease. If the land was so valuable, you would think that South Jersey stands tall would have bought it. Opponents' time and money from outside interests would be better spent telling the people of Millville what they intend to do to improve Millville. Something they have so far avoided. I am anonymous and I spent $3 to make this video on behalf of Lynn Porica Campari and all those involved. And it's all true. As anonymous I approve of the information contained in this message.